What's going on? What's going on? Social media. I'm out here with my son. He's where is he at? Right there with the green on. But I just came to give a quick message. Quick message. So, one thing I like people to understand is when you're trying to build a relationship, a godly relationship, and you're looking for that spouse, I always tell. I'm a firm believer that women shouldn't be looking for a man. A man be should be looking for them because the women are the good thing. When Adam went to sleep, God calls Adam to go to sleep. He provided Eve for him. So I say that to say this. After, after the man, at the fall, God is no longer going to provide you with a spouse. What did Adam say to God when he was looking for them? Adam simply said, it was the woman that you gave me the reason why they sinned. So God is not going to take blame for any of your spouses. It's up to you to cultivate whether or not that relationship works or not. He gives us everything we need with the instruction in the Bible to pick the right spouse. He tells us not to deal with non-believers. And when we're dealing with the unbelievable person, then you have to be careful because you will get bit and you will become broken. You go through a lot of pain when you do what's not in God's will and not his purpose for you you will get bit the bible has every instruction in life you can you can pretty much date using the bible you can build a business using the bible you can parent using the bible there's a lot of stuff you can do with the bible so one thing i get tired of hearing is that god is you're waiting on god to provide you a spouse or i hear this too if it's meant to be then god is um going to bless it no it takes two god can send you the right man or the right woman and if you can't read that's your husband that's your wife then you'll never see it stop waiting on god god is waiting on you god is waiting on you to have faith in everything that he's given you in his instructional book to make the right choices to go cultivate the right relationships and to grow them because i also believe that two non-believers one can be one can give their life to Christ, the other one can't. I believe that God can bless that relationship until the other one decides they want the other one that makes a decision to become a believer as well. But God is in the midst of that relationship because we ha we have faith. He's encouraging us to do the right things because your walk as that person's spouse, your walk means everything. Your walk is going to determine how they feel about certain things. So please stop saying you're waiting on God to do something. God is waiting on you. God is waiting on you to take the first step. God is waiting on you to take the first action. God is waiting on you to seek him first before you do any of that stuff. But God is waiting on you. You're not waiting on God. Have a good one.